and Man of the Adventurer 2 finally released after what feels like forever. I obviously played the demo and I'm not sure how long this game is meant to be. You're Riley, aren't you? This wasn't in the demo. Kate and I were really close. She talked about you so much. She... She was really proud of you. I guess you've seen some of what she was working on. Come on. We should get out of here. I know a place you can rest a while and... Then let's talk. So that was the end of the first game. We're waking up. Hey, I hope you got a little sleep. You know, I was thinking we should head over to the library. You can tell me what happened on the way. All right. God, that's terrifying. I guess we told I really her. I hope we find some answers in Kate's office. Come on, let's move. Okay, let's see if your aunt's key ring delivers. So the library was in the demo. Listen. Okay. There's something out there. It's drawn to the tapes and it's very, very dangerous. Please be careful. Understood. I know this is going to sound super paranoid, but after everything that's happened, we need to be careful. Right here? You can connect on an encrypted channel with these. You go see what you can find in Kate's office. I'll keep watch outside. I'll call you on the two-way if anything comes up. She left quick. Right, so starting fresh, there is Wooly. He has a tape. No, I don't want to be like the greatest guesser of all time, but we're going to need that tape. Um, hey, Margaret. Found an odd tape in book returns. I haven't looked into it myself, but I was hoping you could take a look at it when you can. It's in the locked cabinet. You remember the code, right? Also, you might need to take a look at some of the books. I've been told some of them have been tampered with. I swear this is like the fifth one this week. I've put them aside for you, but I think the new guy accidentally put them back into the library without looking. I hate to ask, but if you got a moment, could you please look around the library? See if you can find them. There should be a history of these books in the library database. So use that to help you out in finding them. Don't stay up too late. Have a good night. Sophie. So this should be the same as what we did last time. There's a room in here now. This was just black windows last time. I wonder if you can go in here. Game's super quiet. All right. Hi, I'm Wendy Worm, your own personal assistant. Scan a book using the scanner to look up his check out history. JP. So there's a, it's a number code. Yeah. So JP. It's not a number though. Five. Michael Arcady. Five. For that other book. This one has nothing on it. I see another one. Three. So five. JP something something three. This one's empty. I guess we go back here. Are there any books back here? There's a book up here. CE is one. CE blank 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 blank. The number has to be here. So we got JP, a three. MA is a five. That is concerning. And one. JP, five, three, and one. Jonathan Pratt showed up twice. Two. The last number is three. How many times does MA show up? MA being Michael Arkady. KD. Michael only shows up once. And the last one, CE. I don't know which CE we're talking here. Carson or Chase. Two. Carson showed up twice. Who won two, three? Wait, wasn't there a five? Wait, I think I've done all of this wrong. I got it. That jump scared me because I was doing it for so long. Okay, to be honest, I don't even, I just put the code in. I don't even remember what it was. Let's go watch this. Alrighty, throw it in there. I'm 
Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Well, no. we can. At least in our imaginations, we can. With my magic train. So far, this is the exact if same as Bedemo. Visit anyone in the world. Except for the intro. Who would you go see? Um, is this one obvious? <sighs> do you uh, really yep. think you could do that? No. I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have been. Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. Okay. But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? Curtain. That's much better. I remember what now, I did in the demo. Let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? Uh, in London, in Paris. We'll go Hold to on. Paris first on the magic train. Huh, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug or I can smash it. Smash it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Good night, Mr. Piggy. Count them together. All right. One, two, two three, three, four, five. five. Someone to pause. It was highlighting it. I'm just gonna quick. I'm just gonna do a quick loop. Wait. It needs ten what coins? Have coins spawned in somewhere? What am I meant to do with this? So there's 10 sheep, there's fake Legos. I'm not seeing anything to do, let's just move on. Maybe I'll put it here. Sure. I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Okay. Can you count them? One, two. So let's pause again. Is there two in the building? I'd assume they'd be close by. They wouldn't be like hidden. Look at that, it works. What a classic. Maybe there's coins in the book. Nope. All right, let's just move on. I'm not sure. The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. All right. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? Uh, here. Wow, planning this trip with you is going to take forever, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their cultural knowledge. Yeah. Our next stop is Mexico City. Oh, yes. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. I knew that. Um, anyway, that ticket costs three coins. So let's take those away from what we have. One, One two, two, three. three. Now we have nothing. Oh no, that's all our coins. And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? Deal with it. Oh, never mind. I can sell one of these for some coins. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? Um, I can't remember what gave us the most coins in the demo. So I'm just going to sell the bear. You really think I can get coins for that old thing? It won't let me. Let's sell funny Mr. Rooster. Okay, sure. Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared. And it made me laugh. 
I hope he can go make someone else laugh. I did it again. Oh, interesting. Pig next to the TV. Sleepy. He's about as honored as I can get. All right. See if he goes to sleep, I guess. Three coins for Mr. Rooster. Okay. Let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? Uh, London. But we don't have four dollars. Ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I yep. don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Okay. I hate that it keeps telling me to pause because I cannot see anything different. Get a move on, I guess. Now I have four. Yep. Do I have to click on him? I can't remember. Oh, we did it. Wow. Who the heck was that guy? Wait, we lost one. He was going to take my coins. I don't mind. We're good, we're good, we're good. Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. One, two, two three, three, four. four. It's time to catch my train. This is fun, I guess. Yeah. But I wish I really could go see the world. I heard that. What was that? Wait, this row of books is gone. That was definitely full before. Anything new in the printer? Put the pig to sleep. I don't understand. Can I adjust the clock? All right. Is it uh it's four o'clock on the dot? Five o'clock, sorry. Okay, cool. You can't change the clock. You just spin it. Now, go to sleep. What if I jump over the fence? Guys. I can't believe this. You can place the pig... All right, here we go. We're rewatching the tape. Um, actually, I want to not have him on there yet because the first question about coins is losing them, I believe. Actually, no, 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 no. We'll pause every time we're about to lose coins because I don't know when I gain coins. All right, we're just going to put in someone else. Wooly. <laughs> yeah, if you could find him. Oh, we're going to open this one. Gonna you know, fast forward. Uh, Paris. We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. We don't want to lose coins. Take him off. Huh, it looks like a ticket to. We will open it. Ah, uh, you're no fun. Our next stop is Mexico City. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three. <laughs> What's so funny, Mr. Rip? Okay. We're going to. <laughs> We're at zero still. Wow, you're smart. And now we're at zero. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so, it doesn't matter what we put here. <laughs> Skip. Curtain. Skip. Uh, Paris. We'll go to Paris first. On the Skip. We're going to take him off. Ah, uh, you're no. 
then we're gonna choose Mexico City. Now, I'm gonna sell the rooster. Mr. Rooster, someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared. Yeah, we're gonna have to Did watch this, I guess. Come on, you know this. Oh, it just broke. We're gonna choose to take him off. So we don't lose money. Wow, you really don't know anything, do you? Wait, did I already choose Mexico? We're going to London! City? A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know. Gonna grab one out of a pocket. Where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even. <sighs> That's four. Now, I think if I take it off, let him eat one of the coins, and then grab one out of the couch. We'll gain an extra coin, in theory. So I'll let him do this, his thing. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, you're smart. You need to get 10 in one run? Alright, I'm gonna give this a few goes, because I don't understand. I forgot to unpause the recording, but we're currently on 7. And... There's always all kinds of stuff in the sofa cushions. Is this it? Now what? Are you kidding me? It hasn't even deducted it yet and I've already lost them. All right, let's do that again. This time it's free. I can't believe for so long, I wasn't clicking on the X. So silly. Wow, you're smart. There's always all kinds of stuff in the sofa cushion. Just skipping that last one mess it up. Because I don't get to watch her take away the coins. Man, I've been, try I've been here for 50 <laughs> minutes playing this game. I'm not even past the first video. Oh, we have to watch the next cutscene. The one after this. This one. Wow, you're smart. There's always all kinds of She'll stuff get three coins, she'll drop them down. And then we're gonna pause. Now she's gonna take three off. Or four off. Oh hey! It's time to catch my train! Now I can put it back on. Doesn't lose me money, does it? Okay. Will this work? This is fun, I guess. But I wish I really could go see the world. What's happening? Break open the piggy bank. I did it. All right, we got a good night. Whoa, I don't know what that friends. was. I'm... I'm Amanda. Yeah, it's late. Time to get ready for bed. I guess I'll get ready by myself. Yeah. Put away my toys. My dad told me once that it's dad. always nice to have a fresh start in the morning. But her dad. Let's see how many toys we have to put away. Can you count them? I can, I can barely remember the law. Count how many to put away? Those four. Which toy should I put away first? 
Uh, this one. We better put him in his home before a hunter shoots his little ears off. Sorry? One, two, three toys to go. Let's put away another one. The ball. Boing, boing, boing. Great work. We're on a roll. Which toy should I put away next? Uh. Time for bed, Mr. Frog. I saw that. One more to go. I saw that. Let's do it. What's that Let's empty space for? Spot. That was a lot of work. Now I'm all set to get ready for bed. Okay. What should I do first? Brush my teeth or wash my face? Uh, teeth. Okay, which toothbrush do you think I should use? Oh, why is there an extra letter available? I don't know. What color is her shirt? I can't remember. Nice well, it's choice. yellow, so it didn't count lavender. either way. Now, will you help me find the toothpaste? Is it in the medicine cabinet, the bathtub, or the toilet? I'm going to hope it's up here. What? I might have missed it, but I haven't seen it flashing yet. That's disgusting. Okay, time to wash my face. Well, I guess I'm all done in here. Time to put on my PJs and hit the sack. Yeah. Should I wear tonight? Um, strawberry. It gets awfully lonely in here at night. It makes me think about what's happening. Those about teeth. things I really don't want to think about. I'm not even sure what's real. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? Um, you're going to write a lot in here. I'm afraid of. Wow, that sounds really scary. I bet you're trying not to think about it now, aren't you? Thinking about something you're afraid of can give you nightmares. True. Especially when there's no one around to help you think about nice thoughts. I try to be a big girl and sleep with the lights off, but it makes me feel so alone. What about the teddy bear? What do you think? Should I just turn off the lamp and be a big girl? Or maybe you can find me a nightlight. Please hurry back soon. Uh... This isn't disturbing or anything. Thank Jesus. You. Good night, Riley. What? Oh, the box moved. Okay. We have to solve this? I don't understand. I mean, there must be ways to figure this out, but how? Try this again, maybe? X O Moon Sun Flower. I don't understand. Same thing. X O Moon Sun Flower. Was that it? It's almost like I have no idea what's happening. Of course, I've been paused this whole time in the recording. So I did this puzzle using 
the cabinet. I'll put a picture up using the cabinet. This is what it comes out to look like. Um, this one, I think it might be more like this, but I have no proof because nothing happens. So it's just a guess, but that's based off the toy cabinet. Another picture. And I haven't worked out these two yet, which is what I'm trying to currently do. Okay, I think I have something. Going based off what we have on the cabinet, this one's empty, so it's an X. These two look like X's. This is a ball. This one's an X. This one's an X. And this one. Just checking in. Everything's still pretty quiet out here, but we shouldn't stay too long. Try to find those tapes, okay? Okay, we have something. But why would this one be wrong? Unless it's right. I've worked it out. The top one has five pedals. Bottom one only has... F oh, sorry. Six pedals. The bottom one has five. Then we got another tape. Let's practice patience. Let's practice patience. Now that I'm finally returned. There's a second for you guys. A million millennials for me. I'm Amanda. Isn't it nice to be a... And I'm... Bully. Bully. Hi, I am... No, I don't want you here. Don't you get that? But Amanda, I'm your best friend. My best friend? All you do is get up. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we are working on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is, that is a very good quality to have. In the background. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today we are building a birdhouse so bird house. that bird will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long time. Have a little patience, Willie. Well, I still think we could use a flashlight or something. I'm going to bump into something. You can go back inside if you want. You don't have to be out here with me. What's something you have built that took a lot of patience? Why would you waste your time doing that? I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? A bird. Parrot. That wouldn't fit. I was going to put bird. Never mind. I like those oh, birds. yeah, look at that. Birds. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. All right. What tool should we use for that? We should use a saw. Right. We'll use the saw to cut the wood. The saw to cut the wood. Much said so. Odd. Um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Wow, that was hard work. Okay, now we have to put the pieces together with nails. What tool should we use for Police that? Art. Ah, uh, the nail gun. That's right! We'll use the nail gun to attach the pieces! Uh. Pew, pew, pew. That was mean. This project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! Come on, you've got this! That's right, patience! That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. Uh, we haven't done blue yet. I love blue. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Uh, paintbrush. Good job. This is going to be so pretty. Ah! Ah! What the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far. Get him to go away. How 
getting really sick of that guy. Me too. Come on, let's paint this birdhouse. Now what? Wow, oh. that looks great. We painted the whole thing. Now we just need to be patient Top to while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look, they're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. Yeah, I still hear a radio. Another activity that takes a lot of patience is hunting. Look at Miss Cat hunting the birds. She is That's a cat? being very patient. She's getting really close to the pretty birds, Amanda. Should we warn them? What do you think? Should we warn the birds or let Miss Cat keep going? Miss Cat and her family have to eat after all. Oh, uh, on the birds. <laughs> wow, Willie, great idea to warn the birds. <laughs> I didn't mean. And now nobody's using the birdhouse. We're going to have to sit here all day waiting for them to come back. That's going to take a lot of... Don't say it. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> oh, an outro this time. These, this one seems more official. That scared the absolute... Turn that off because I'm not sure if that's copyrighted or something. Eyes... Mouth is the printer's helped us so far. Let's have a look. Um, Amanda Woolly equals click on a monkey. Hey, look, interesting. Well, let's relist, let's rewatch and see if I can catch what's happening here. What if I don't stop him? Somehow it still worked. See this one? Stalks them slowly. She's showing a lot of patience. Got it. I just muted that. Something I'm not understanding. So I wasn't recording. I've got an achievement for testing her patience. I've just been trying to get through this part of the level and I can't figure this out at all. We got a secret tape. All right, so I had to search it up. Been like 15 minutes of running through this tape over and over again. And I've found out how to do it, finally. So at the start of the tape, they talk about it being dark. And then we're going to do something when they say that. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark. Right here. It's so dark outside. Now we're going to turn this on. There we go. This is part one. Oh, my eye. Now they're both covering their eyes. Then we're going to go over here. Perfection. All right. Okay. All right. The next one's right what here. We Kinda. We're gonna let him do this. <laughs> now they're both covering their mouths. All right. Number two. Oh, and the next one's at the birdhouse. All right. So I skipped it. So we're just gonna get that one done. They should save. So we only have one left to do. So it's in this next part, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here. They're so pretty. Right here. And their chirps are so quiet. So. What's up, radio gremlin? So we're talking about being quiet. Now we're gonna crank this. Here on KND 97, we're championing the airwaves with our national anthem from dusk till dusk. You heard me right, soldier. That's it. Okay, we're gonna wait for him to say peaceful. Peaceful. Now? There we go. So now they're going to do an action. We're gonna jump in. Right there. They're covering their ears. It's right over here so we can hear it. Don't need a run-in with that 
things. What? The creature being Amanda? That was a frog. So now it happens when we go back. Well, let's finish the tape and see what happens. I'll uh, let this one happen. Sure. <gasps> My. We got the piggy bank back. Let's hunt for treasure. Oh, we should watch this first, actually. They also moved the TV. As you can see, it's clipping inside of it now. But... Okay, watch this. How long have you been cataloging these? Since I caught a sigil on the swing set in the background of the Let's Play Pirates episode. If I'd have blinked, I'd have missed it. But here's the thing, there wasn't a single reference until the acquisition. This is the complete log of all the references I can make out. And most of them are subtle, but they're there and lots of them. And usually paired with a message encouraging kids to uh, ignore their parents or, or do something harmful. Again, it's subtle. It's not something that's overtly dangerous, not in the context, and it's always under the guise of a new adventure. And you know this kid was also watching the show at the time of his disappearance. Mm, totally engrossed, his parents said, and then just gone. No police evidence? Not even footprints trailing on? No, nothing. Like, he just vanished. That was over eight months ago. And now this other kid, Lauren, same story. Lauren, I think. What's next? Lauren was the one in the out. first Obviously, game. Obviously, we can't say anything. It's a kid show, for Christ's sake. We sound insane. But it's not. These are these are not good lessons. Every episode has some very harmful instructions, and there's a thread of content that runs across all of it. References to Belial, to Mara, to Iblis. Every world religion has a figure that tempts and manipulates and deceives. According to Kate's log, in the last 20 weeks of this kid show, there have been over 40 mentions of these entities. It's alarming. I want to bring Peter into this, if you two are comfortable. This is really his area of expertise. Peter? I don't recall okay, Peter. Let's get him to review the episodes that you've already recorded. I will cut the meeting recording. What is she here? The flies? I can't even imagine. You're listening. They provided two original tapes of the show, and they say there are more. Over the next few nights, I'm going to start combing those for more coded language. The puzzles, the anagrams, they seem to connect it to the cult. And based on what we have, I'm convinced that this is the latest iteration of the one Caroline's family's been tracking for generations. Welcome back to KND 97. This is the information we already have about the group ties it back to a religion that hasn't been practiced publicly. Damn me. Okay. So we're saying that this production company has been around since the Middle Ages? Is that what we're saying? Either that, or they were. Oh, there. We're not going to get here. Specifically, and why nope. here? I wish we could get our hands on that contract. I think it would be. Why is it cut now, man? We don't even have any conclusive evidence that would suggest that she's still alive. But she's in there, Peter. I know she is. Whatever information Kate is getting is fragmented at best. And that's if it is actually Rebecca. It has to be. So I... no, Caroline. We don't know. We have to hit the pause button on this. We can't do any... I hit the pause button. I'm going to mute this. Let's go back in, I guess. ...thing that would give away what we're doing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Are you in charge here? So what's the plan then, Peter? We just keep meeting and talking? What's our goal exactly? Look, I want to try to, Caroline, but we have to proceed with caution. We don't even know what state she's in. Or if we could even get to her. It's been almost 15 years. She might not even want out at this point. You don't know that. You don't either. Bottom line is, it's not safe. 
I mean, are we gonna talk about David or are we just gonna pretend I'm he's- I'm not waiting around. If they're coming for me, they're coming for me. She's made contact with Kate but we don't even know that it's her. It is, but she's too volatile. That's the tricky part. We don't know where she's coming from. Okay, we've been working on this for 14 years. Please. This is a terrible idea. We I don't think it is. We should be low, not diving in. Right, you know what? I think Peter's wrong. It's over. We're gonna take a break, and we're all just gonna come back when we can. Damn. Oh, Peter's wrong, so. Alright, let's move on. We got the piggy bank here again. Hi! Now oh, that's cool. I'm Amanda! And I'm Wooly! Today we are playing bandits! Come on! Where did you hide the loot? Careful, or you'll break it. <laughs> Willie, that you're tree. a pretty boring bandit. That tree definitely just changed. Bandits hide all kinds of things in the woods. It's fun to go look well, for So why is that tree breathing? But you should probably tell someone where you're... Never tell anyone where you're going. They might get to the treasure before you do. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. Yeah. Which direction should we go to find the treasure? Where are we exactly? North? I think you're right. Let's go. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Where should we dig for the treasure? X marks the spot. Also, the thingo is there. Yes, that marking matches the Creature one on thing. the map. Great, here we go again. Seriously, who is that guy? A little help here. We're going to help. I just heard her voice. Like reversing yeah. almost. Thanks for your help. This guy's gonna give me a heart attack. Same. Hmm. Maybe I should get him to come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Let's dig. Okay, bandits, let's get to digging. Amanda, I don't have a shovel. Bandits should always come prepared. I guess you'll have to use your hands. The trees keep whoa. changing. We're not digging this grave, are we? We did all that digging for this? Maybe this was important to someone once, but not anymore. Come on, Willie. Let's get out of here. Uh, Amanda? A little help here? Are you still up there? Oh, oh no. Actually, you know what? what? No, I'm not done treasure hunting. I really thought we'd find something special uh... and you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something good for me. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time's running out. That's one. Riley? Riley? What's happening? Well, we're not okay, if that makes her feel better. So I think we call it and I will return in another episode solely focusing on getting the good ending. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see another one, 
go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell on, leave a comment, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Good. Bye.